G'day, and welcome back to that new Hobby High Ultramarines from scratch. Ah, uh, let's see. Now, um, back in a lot to talk about today. Uh, okay, the week has been good. Work has been obstropulous. I've had a very temperamental bit of kit to be working on. Nothing was going right. Um, finally got that shit sorted, and uh, yeah, it was all good. Uh, the good bad, good side of it was, when I got everything done, I was sent home, and I got a fuckload of hobby done. But, uh, yeah, I freaking, due to piss poor planning on my part, my hobby has stalled on the units I wanted to do. So, I'll show you what's happened. First off, the Damocles uh, Command Rhino is done. And that looks a fucking treat, I think. The only thing I noticed though is after I put it together is that I fucking forgot to put the lights on when I built the bloody thing and now I can't find the correct sprues. So I've got to go through, through the sprues and hopefully I haven't thrown them out and I'll fucking put the lights on and fix it up. But yeah, that looks all right. I think it goes, um, it beeps away as it freaking clicks on. So it goes doom, 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 doom. Doom, 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 or however that fucking song goes. But uh, the proof of the pudding in any freaking completed unit is actually to have a look at it in, you know, uh, and see if you're painting consistently, if your models look like the models you've previously done. So I have done two rhinos previously. Would you grab them over here? Right. And what we're going to do is we're going to oh, nitpick problems. Uh, that uh, inconsistencies. Okay. Nitpicking inconsistencies, other than the no lights. All right. Uh, okay. First thing I notice, if I'm fucking honest, is that I have done all the highlighting with a darker grey. With a darker, darker grey. Imagine the amount of cat hair that fucking gets into these things is extraordinary. I have to freaking get a like a hoover and fucking vacuum the whole lot. All the positioning of all the missiles and bits and pieces is good. The bare metal looks a little bit more weathered than this, so I'll have to come back and fix those. The bare metal looks more weathered. Let's have a look at the back, maybe, see if it's got any big differences in the back. Ugh. You know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. But the grey is a bit of a... Grey bugs me. And the headlamps missing bug me. Yeah, I'm fucking happy with that. All right, so uh, I might come back and I might just go over that grey with a new with a lighter grey, just to make them consistent. Because consistency is what makes an army, what makes anything bond and look good and freaking, you know, the same. I've got the same panels here. I've got the same numbers here and here. This one's obviously more of a command unit because I'm planning on popping the cheapest Praetor I have in this. So uh, this, this radar gives everything within 18 inches, which is about that um, it's leadership and also I can I can control bad uh, uh, drops uh, deep strikes on a one two or three they're my mine mine to fucking place so uh, yeah looking forward to that but a, a leadership 18 inch leadership bubble from the side of the tent put a Praetor in it at strength 10 um, that's, that'll end up being about 200 and just a cheap Praetor in normal power armor. Uh, that'll end up being worth its, worth its weight in gold, especially when I start re-rolling leaderships with, uh, with bloody Logos. So yeah, fucking happy with that. So that's done. Just place this over here and I'll show you the next bit. Give me a moment. Friggin', I'm not exactly super organized at the moment. Right. The next thing. I got done and completed and finished is the first 10 of these ultramarine nemesis uh, destroyers. So there, I've, you know, I only I haven't 
fucking gone all the way through, but they're almost there. The first, these ones are based, painted, varnished, ready to go. I've just got to bring out the reds in the eyes. Now, I think I was using this picture as a fucking guide, and I think if you have a look at them in front of this picture, that I fucking absolutely fucking nailed it. I reckon. I reckon I fucking nailed it. They've all got the Praetorian Breaches heads. And they're all Mark IVs, but I didn't make them taller because this fella looks stumpy as fuck. So they're going to look stumpy as fuck. And they've all got the Mark IV bolters, which will be those uh, Harrowan Nemesis bolt... Uh, ne not bolt, bolt rifles, but they're, they've got like a round that is very painful. So I made that gun different from all the other standard guns, all the other standard bolters and the rest of the... Um, the rest of the army. So only these, this unit, will have that Mark IV design bolter. And of course I've got two low slung missile launchers because I love the idea of rad missiles on assault. Um, they seem to be fucking useless against anything that doesn't have, uh, the, anything that has single wounds, but anything that has more than two wounds should be, should be good. So maybe if I ever go up against something like Gal Vorbach, or uh, something that doesn't re-roll blast, like no good against Terminators, obviously. Uh, yeah, and I still got more to paint. I got another. Uh, that, that that took me about five days in total, and I still got these here to paint. The other because it's twenty man unit, but I've run out of black, and I've run out of black ink. So they're fucking on the. the these ones are waiting until payday, which is Wednesday. So yeah, I'm fucking happy with those ones. I am very fucking happy. Um, I don't. Know, I'd like to play with them almost immediately. Um, I've, I've hopefully I've got a game against some white scars on the Thursday. Um, we'll see how we go with that, whether I play it or not. Because um, work's been a bitch. Just so hard. So many faults currently. It's just ridiculous. And the last two things I finished. Uh, oh, fuck me drunk. Oh, you cunt of a thing. You, oh, you fuck. Ah, shit. No, it's such a thing as super glue. Fuck. All right. Anyway, um, back to the point. What was, this, what was the one about? All right. Another one, the other units I've done, I've told you about before, was my, uh, was my uh, unit of 10. Um, plasma and thunder hammer terminators, and the unit of uh, sorry, unit of five plasma and thunder hammer terminators, and unit of five multi melter and chain fist terminators. Now, at some point, I will duplicate these, I'll have another five of these, and I'll have another five of these, and I'll have you know, one anti tank unit. That's damn near unstoppable. One anti infantry unit, which is damn near unstoppable. Um, these are all been based and ready, but I've already uh, already painted some terminators. They look all right, don't they? And with Mickey Mouse, We've got the, the glow effect going on the guns. This one here, don't know if you can see that the little uh, extra patch on him. That's actually the belt buckle of this chap. He's still under work. And un, under, he, was, he was originally going to be the uh, the uh, the bloke leading him, but I think I'm actually just going to make him a uh, Praetor with siege themes in mind. I quite like the model myself. Anyway, um, now I'm going to grab another uh, Terminator from what I did previously. And we'll compare him. Here he is. All right. Let's have a look. Do we see any big differences? Oh. Fuck, I, I actually can see some big differences. The brass is a lot less bright and a lot more stained in. Shit, okay, so I'm going to have to go over all these bright areas. And bring them down to this level. See, that doesn't look very good. Maybe it's this that needs cleaning up. Uh, 
or maybe a bit of both. This can get cleaned up and these can get dirtied a bit. But anyway, um, I'm going to buy a, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, I thought these were almost table ready, but apparently no fucking go. A little bit more work to do. But anyway, I'm, that's what I've completed this week. And uh, I'm very fucking happy, very fucking, very, very fucking happy with my efforts. Now, uh, what else next? I, uh, in the message in the, in the, uh, the, the little text thing under the video last week, I've been asked, and I have been asked previously, to uh, do a video of how I paint my minis. And I was a bit fucking reluctant because, to be honest, I'm filming this shit through a cheap-ass camera and I'm not a Mickey Mouse, like, YouTube-y fucking... Look at this. Just simply do this. Da -da 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 and, and fucking make an, a single model look fucking amazing. I'm a bulk dude. I'm a bulky bulk dude. So, uh, but I will show... I will start putting together a video on how to paint these uh, melter units. This melter unit, all right? I'm not going to show you how to how to assemble and how to undercoat because that's fucking minder shit. You can all do that, but I will show you the steps on how I um, do a whole unit of ten. I've got a, I've got a little clock, and it's going to be in a timer. It's going to be a time lapsed with some music. After I describe what I'm doing, I'm going to freaking set the camera up. I'm going to go go motherfucker, and then I'm just going to set the timer, click, and you can see how long it takes me to go through one to ten. With uh, and uh, and actually to the to completion, and uh, you'll see how long over the course of a week or two weeks, you know, that I'm actually able to work on them. How long it'll take me to complete. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, what else? I have also a couple of weeks ago I showed some Dark Heresy role play books, and I got really fucking excited about it, and I was going to start writing some shit up, but. Uh, a bloke wrote to me and he says, look, mate, um, send us 50 bucks and I'll give you some books. So uh, I took a gamble. It's only 50 bucks. And uh, he sent me a photo of a whole bunch of uh, dark heresy amendments and uh, like uh, extra books. And it's not like a whole lot this big. Like there's about six or seven books in there. And they're all getting sent to me. So fucking you, beauty. I'm going to actually be able to put together something decent when I actually do do that. But other than that, that's me week. I'm having an absolutely fucking great time. I'm fucking poor. I'll, I'll have to freaking slow down on these at the moment because we've got no black paydays a day away. Um, I want to freaking, today I'm going to, the rest of the day, I'm going to tint these up to try and make them look like that other one. I'll find a place to stash these. I might do a bit of work on them. Get these veterans done. And then, uh, Get these veterans done, but in the meantime, also film this fucking video. It should all be good. Anyway, mate, I'm fucking, I'm jazzed. I've had a fucking, I've had a good day. I've got a shitload painted this week. I'm stoked. Uh, it's nearly the end of March. Fuck, it is nearly the end of March. How quickly has this year gone? Nearly end of March, and my sum total points so far this year is uh, 1,700 points painted. So I'm having, I'm fucking happy with that. That's three months. I should be on track to get uh, get to 1500 by mid-year, late mid-year. Anyway, that's it from me. Love the lot of you. Give your missus a kiss and I'll catch you all later. Cheerio.